Russia's winged caliber missiles, how they destroyed Ukraine's airports in a very short period. The Russian forces are considered one of the most armies that use and manufacture winged missiles, which have made a big difference in wars since the 70s of the last century until now. Engineering winged missiles are closer to aircraft than conventional missiles, as they are equipped with jet engines that operate on solid or liquid fuel, such as aircraft, and they also have unstable wings, and this is what allows them to rise and maneuver in the air to escape from the air defense systems. We show you, dear viewers, the Russian caliber missiles that were able to destroy their targets in Ukraine. The headquarters of the military command and the sites where the air defense systems and radar systems are located in Ukraine, where the caliber missiles succeeded in hitting these targets, and 70% of these areas that were targeted were out of service. According to the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense, Russia struck Ukraine with 500 missiles, a large percentage some of them were of the caliber type, as military centers and vital areas were bombed within 48 hours from the beginning of the Russian attack which means at a rate of one missile every six minutes. Design and Manufacture The first production of this winged missile began in 1974 during the Soviet Union, and entered service in 1975, and this missile was a breakthrough in the long-range missile industry, as this missile possesses this missile because of its engineering design, and wings capable of movement after launch unique capabilities. In 2012, the second generation of caliber missiles, entered service in the Russian Navy. They are launched from battleships or submarines, and can hit sea or land targets. The second generation missiles distinguish themselves from the first generation with their guidance and navigation systems. Design and Manufacture Specifications the weight of the missile is 2.2 tons, its length is 8.3 meters, the wingspan is 9 meters, and the length of the missile ranges between 7.8 meters to 8.3 meters, depending on the type of engine and warhead, and it has a range of 2,500 kilometers and may reach 3,650 kilometers and can fly at an altitude of 20 meters to 9,000 meters. This missile is also characterized by a variety of warheads where it can carry conventional or thermal warheads or cluster bombs and can carry nuclear or biological warheads. Unique Specifications The second generation of these missiles has unique characteristics, despite its slow speed of 250 km per hour, but it is a clever deceiver, and can maneuver in the air so that the process of dropping is close to impossible. This missile is also directed using satellites, where the satellite draws a topographic map the missile flies according to this map, so the missile rises when it meets the mountains, and then drops at the valleys or the plains. The diameter of the missile is 52 centimeters, its ability to fly at low altitudes, and its coating with materials that absorb radar waves, which air defense systems are unable to intercept or track. Users. In addition to Russia, this missile is used by the Chinese and Indian armed forces, as well as mainly by the Algerian and Vietnamese forces. Although many of these missiles were used in Ukraine, they were not monitored or photographed except once. Before being used in Ukraine, it was also used on Syrian territory, where the Russian fleet and the Khuzan Sea struck land targets in Syria, where this missile was able to pass over Iranian, Iraqi and some Turkish lands to hit targets in Syria. And the Russian fleet in the Mediterranean hit targets other ground-based caliber missiles with warheads are made of cluster bombs, which are internationally prohibited bombs. The range of destruction is 5 kilometers and they do not differentiate between civilian and military. And you, dear viewer, what is your assessment of the caliber missile, and is there an effective way to stop them?